four, three, two, one. Cue music. This is Movies First with Alex First. Is it real or a fake? That's the $64,000 question, or in this case, a figure far, far higher than that when referring to a painting that may have been the work of master painter Leonardo da Vinci. Mind you, since the film was released abroad, the sentiment has strengthened that the canvas may well have been painted by one of da Vinci's students or followers. Depending upon the source to which one turns, as few as 15 of his actual paintings survive today. So you can imagine the excitement around the world when another possible significantly damaged artwork of da Vinci first resurfaced in the past couple of decades. Called Salvatore Mundi, Latin for Saviour of the World, it depicts Jesus in a blue Renaissance dress, making the sign of the cross with his right hand and holding a transparent crystal orb in his left. It was originally purchased by Sleeper Hunter, a person who looks for undervalued paintings, Alexander Parrish, in partnership with Old Masters art dealer Robert Simon. The source was a New Orleans auction house. The year was 2005, and the price? Just American dollars, 1175 The seller and auctioneer clearly unaware of its provenance. You're listening to Movies First. For more, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. The documentary The Lost Leonardo, filmed over three years, details the painting's journey and it unfolds as a gripping mystery thriller. Quite frankly, I thought the filmmakers did a fabulous job weaving together this most incredible tale. There are twists of plenty and the common threads throughout are rarity, greed and exploitation. The Lost Leonardo unfolds through interviews with many of the key players involved since the work was found. They include the woman who had the job of restoring the painting, one of the world's top art conservation professionals, Diane Modestini, who began working on it just after losing her husband Mario, himself a world-famous restorer. In 2008, experts gathered around an easel at the National Gallery in London to examine the mysterious painting, and the story takes off from there. Involved are, among others, a Swiss art dealer and businessman, a Russian billionaire, the National Gallery, da Vinci experts, a top banker, writers, art critics, investigative reporters, the FBI, the CIA, the Louvre, France and Saudi Arabia. Told in chapters, not surprisingly, Salvatore Mundi, which has been called the male Mona Lisa, is mired in controversy that continues to this day. Some people are true believers, others are clearly not. I was incredulous and totally mesmerised throughout this documentary. In fact, I was thinking if this was the plot of a narrative feature, I wouldn't have believed it. It would have appeared too far-fetched. That speaks volumes about the fine work that Andreas Kofod and co. have produced. The Lost Leonardo is in rarefied air and should not be missed. It scores a 9 out of 10. You've been listening to Movies First with Alex First. Available at Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio or your favourite podcast player. You can also stream on demand at Bytes.com. This has been another quality podcast production from Bytes.com.